Hey, what's up? Peace. So check it out. I just came back from an MCAT, a Princeton Review MCAT boot camp session. And it was from 10 a.m. till 1 p.m. But it's funny, it ended up lasting until 2 p.m. It was fun. Like, it's the crazy thing, my position is I have not taken any of the science classes any I haven't not taken any of the science classes yet. I haven't taken biology, I haven't taken chemistry, physics, or or orgo. I haven't taken those. I haven't taken biochem. I haven't taken any of those. The only science related classes that I have taken is AMP, um, which is anatomy and physiology. I took that like a year, like last like a year ago. Two semesters ago. <laughs> Dang, time flies. Uh, yeah, I took that like a year ago, and I also took a uh, survey of chemistry class when I was still at the community college. That's the only science-related material that I've seen. But ever since I made the decision that I wanted to get into medical school, I have been looking at MCAT material, and I don't care if I haven't taken the science classes. I'm going to that. I went to the boot camp. There was some question. There was some things that I was not used to there are th things that I did not know I was looking at when I when I was looking at when the instructor was going over the OCHEM portion I didn't know anything but it's okay because I told myself that I will know this <laughs> I will know this like a year from now when I take organic chemistry oh what am I saying like next year yeah when I take organic chemistry I will know this and even the physics like I'm taking physics in in the fall of this year I will know the material so even though I didn't there's some questions that I did not get right I'm, I, I always tell myself I will bust my butt I will work hard I will pass there were some chemistry questions that I did get right I, I got I got most of the chemistry questions right and it's funny because I I took um, the survey of chemistry class and even though there's some things the class doesn't go in depth in the, the survey of chemistry class I still got some questions right and I'm taking chem one this summer so that should prepare me even more so that's that I met, there's this girl that was sitting by me, I met her, um, she was actually, she's actually registered to take the MCAT a month from now, that's what she told me, so that's amazing, and also there's a, like most of the people, um, many of the people in the class were in that same position, so, you know, I was talking to her, we were, we were going over questions, she was talking about organic chemistry, we were talking about all the other classes, how, and I was asking her questions and things like that, it was cool, and I got her number, and um, like she said, you know, if I have any questions, I could hit her up. And then um, I was talking to her about, you know, torrent files, how you can torrent MCAT guides. It was crazy. You can torrent MCAT guides, you know, um, instead of paying like $100, $200 for them. It's crazy. But make sure you buy them after if you plan to. <laughs> um, you know, I was talking to her. And the other thing, most the highlight of the day, this was the highlight of the day. So, okay, first, when I first got in the class, in the lecture hall, the first guy that I was speaking was going over the verbal reasoning portion. And then he left, and then the second guy went over the biological science portion and the physical science portion. And um, at the end of the session, it was like one o'clock, I actually approached the instructor and I was, I was talking to him. Cause he, he said, if we have any questions, we could ask him. So I went up to him um, and I asked him a simple question. I told him, uh, I, haven't, I haven't taken any of the science classes. What, you know, what material, what study guide material do you suggest I should look at? And, you know, we, and then this conversation just went on from there, you know. Um, I went and then I, I found out that he volunteers at the same hospital that I volunteer at, which is insane. And we actually walked over there and we were talking to, um, we were talking to each other. He was actually doing research. He was actually helping out with research, um, post-traumatic stress disorder. He was working with the post-traumatic stress disorder team in the hospital, and he was talking about how he would conduct surveys with um, patients that are in the hospital, and he was talking about how he would go to this other hospital and uh, assess MRIs, and he would talk to doctors and things like that. I was talking to him like crazy. He was telling me that the hospital that we volunteer at is very busy. It's it'll be is it will be very hard to get shadowing to find a doctor to shadow there. It's better you go in a you know private setting hospital that's not that busy. 
and uh, man, we just go went on and on. And the thing is that he, he is, um, he was actually, he actually applied already. He applied to medical school already. He took the MCAT already, and um, he was talking when when we were talking. He was saying his GPA wasn't so hot. Um, he said his GPA was a 3.0. I'm not gonna say his name. You know, as long as I don't say the name, I'm straight. He said his, his GPA was like a 3.0. Um, but, yo, when we were talking, um, yo, this guy should be in med school. <laughs> he's doing so much. He's doing, M he's, he's instructing for Princeton Review. He was talking about how he, 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 um, he's been with the hospital for like three years. And he was saying how he did two years with this other organization of where he went to Ghana and uh, Honduras, I think. Yeah. And... Um, he was saying a whole bunch of other stuff. He was saying how he puts 12 hours, like 10 to 12 hours, and he actually said this in class before I met him. He said he puts in 10 to 12 hours every day, you know, 10 to 12 hours every day looking at MCAT material because I think he said he got a 28 and he, he wants higher, you know, and that, that motivates me. That motivates me big time because this is what I'm trying to do now and this is how serious I am about this. And when I'm around people who are at that level who um not at that level but who are motivated at that level that's a better way to say it. who are motivated at that level that just shows like yo there is actually someone else you know who who is serious about this stuff because getting into medical school is serious it is insanely serious and i i saw that today so what i'm gonna do is you know what i mean um got my got my skateboard shoot i'm about to go in and skate some but when I get back home, I am about to go in <laughs> on this MCAT even more. The verbal reasoning is stressing me out. I'm about to go in even more on that. I learned a lot today. So um, this is just me, you know. This is just me right now. And to anyone else who's studying for the MCAT who's, who is going hard, like, I am motivated by you and I, I encourage you guys to keep going, keep pushing. I'm pushing too. To anyone who's in high school, you know, you can shoot me a comment. It doesn't matter. Anyone who's in high school, this is what it takes. Um, if you really want it, um, just keep pushing, keep that mindset, keep researching online. You know, your, your, your dad might be a doctor, your mom might be a doctor, you might know a doctor, talk to them. You might volunteer at a hospital already. You might have not even done that. That does not mean you can't still go online and go in on the research and learn as much as you can. So with that being said, this was a long video. So stay positive, guys. Keep pushing and peace.